We got the alert that a neutron star merger had happened at about midnight Sydney time. As soon as I got notified about the event, I jumped in the car, drove to CSIRO, and we started observing straight away. This is the first time that we detected a gravitational wave event that also produced light and radio waves from the moment when two neutron stars merge. Straight away we asked for time on the CSIRO's compact array. The scheduled observers were kicked off and we observed as soon as the source rose over Australia. Gravitational waves indicated that this was from two neutron stars merging. A neutron star is a star with about the mass of the sun but squashed into a region about 10 or 20 kilometres across. We targeted a series of galaxies that we thought might host the gravitational wave event, but then we received news that there was an optical event in uh, the galaxy NGC 4993. And so we started targeting that uh, galaxy over a series of days. We spent a whole day looking and hoping to find a detection, and it wasn't until about a day later that we eventually made a detection. We all felt very, very excited and also quite relieved to have finally made it after weeks of work. Follow-up to the gravitational wave event was an international project and so there were observations, radio observations, uh, carried out in the US using the Very Large Array. We collaborated with their group and were able to confirm our own detection with their detection of the source. The galaxy this merger occurred in is 130 million light years away. And that means that when it occurred, dinosaurs were still roaming the Earth and Australia and New Zealand were still joined together. We're still monitoring the radio waves because we expect this source to keep getting brighter. How bright the radio emission gets and when it peaks allows us to work out what's going on in the merger. It tells us which of our models is correct. Gravitational waves gives us a completely new window on the universe. We need radio telescopes and optical telescopes to help complete the picture. Australia has amazing telescopes and we'll be making major contributions in this whole new era of astronomy.